Hello, everyone. Um, I would like for you at this time to please get out pages five and six of your um, Starfall journal packet. <clears throat> We're going to do this one together today. Um, so at the very top of your paper, it says name. It would be a great idea <clears throat> for you to put that on there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because as all of you know, that is the very first step we should always be following when we get our paper. Um, we are going to be doing some reading together today and some a little bit of writing. Oh, goodness. I am so sorry about this document camera that does this all the time, and I'm not sure how to fix it. If there's any sudden movement, it blinks like that, so please bear with me. Okay, so the directions of this uh, page say, circle the word that best completes the sentence, then write the word in the blank. So some of these um, words, oh, I see a couple, a few. Um, some of these words are sight words that we have practiced before. Um, so you should, might be able to read some of those. And then the other words are ones that we can sound out. So I'm going to have you help me do that today. Here we go. What's this word, boys and girls? It's one of our sight words. The, r, at. Rat is blank. Is is another one of our sight words. The rat is blank. Okay, now the picture here is going to be very helpful in completing this activity because it shows how the rat is feeling. If you look at the picture, you can tell that he's pretty sad. He's crying. Um, so now what we need to do is in these, in this list of words here, we need to find the word sad. Let's uh, look at that first one. <sighs> Add. Had. The rat is had. Does that make sense? Nope. How about this one? S at sat. The rat is sat. Does that make sense? Nope. Rat sat rhyme, but that does not make sense in the sentence. Let's try this last one. S ad sad. The rat is sad. Does that one make sense? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and circle the word sad, and then we're going to write, we're going to copy that word right there, and we're going to write that word um, in the blank spot. So first letter is S, then A, and then D, all lowercase, boys and girls. None of these should be uppercase letters. Okay, now that we have written the word on the blank spot, let's go ahead and read it together and double check and make sure that it makes sense. Here we go. The rat is sad. Does that make sense? You betcha. Good job. All right, here we go. This rat, by the way, his name on Starfall is Zach the rat. So this next sentence, um, the first word is his name. Zach sat sat on on a blank zach sat on a blank let's go ahead and check out these words over here and again you can use the picture and you can see what he is sitting on that will be helpful as well here we go m at mat zach sat on a mat Oh, it does look like that's what he's sitting on. I want to read the next two words, though, just to be safe. P -a -t pat. Zach sat on a pat. Well, that doesn't make sense. Let's try that last word. F-a-t. Fat. Zach sat on a fat. That doesn't make sense either. All right, I think... Um, that the one that made the most sense was Matt. Thumbs up if you agree. We're going to go ahead and it matches the picture. We're going to go ahead and circle the word Matt. And then we're going to write it in this blank spot on the handwriting lines. Remember that all of your letters should be lowercase. If I'm going too fast, you can um, pause the video. So if it takes you a little bit longer to write the word on the handwriting lines, that is completely fine. Just pause the video and then push play when you're ready. 
All right, let's read it and double check to make sure that it makes sense. Zach sat on a mat. Woohoo! That makes sense. All right, let's go ahead and move on to number three. The blank naps. Naps. The blank naps. Okay, sound out this word with me. When I put my um, pencil lead under the letter, I want you to say the sound. K and can. The can naps. Does that make sense, boys and girls? No. How about this one? Say the sounds with me and then we'll blend them. K a t cat. The cat naps. Does that make sense? Go ahead and circle the word. Oh, it matches the picture too. That's how we know that we're correct. All right, go ahead and write the word cat in all lowercase letters on the handwriting lines. Again, if you need to pause the video, but we're gonna go ahead and read that sentence together. Double check that it makes sense. Ready, set, go. The cat naps. Matches the sentence or the picture and it makes sense. All right, last one, number four. The blank r an ran to, two is another one of our sight words, the j am. The blank ran to the jam. All right, here we go. Ants, ants. The ants ran to the jam. An, an, the an ran to the jam. P, ants, the pants ran to the jam. Which one made the most sense, boys and girls? Ants, an, or pants. Also look at the picture to help you. If you said Ants makes the most sense in this sentence. You were correct. Go ahead and write that in all lowercase letters on the handwriting lines. And then we will read that all together. Ready, set, go. The ants ran to the jam. All right, when you flip your paper over, you will be on page six. Um, this one has some things in the picture that um, have the ah sound in the middle. So it says, circle the things that have the short a sound. Short a sound is ah. Then write about the picture. Use the word bank to help you. So. Um, there are some things I'm going to go ahead and read these words and I want you to go ahead and find those things in the picture and circle them. So say the sounds of the word when I have my pencil lead underneath and then we'll blend it together. B, A, T, bat. So go ahead and find and circle the bat because bat has the A sound right in the middle. A. Here's the next one. J, am, jam. Now, the jam in the picture has the word on it that matches this right here, jam. So go ahead and circle the jam. Has the ah sound in the middle. R, a, t, rat. Find Zach the rat and circle him. Rat. All right, here's the next one. At hat. Find a hat. Ooh, I see one. Hat. Ooh, I just noticed. Bat, rat, hat. Oh, those rhyme. Okay, here's the next one. 
b ag bag find and circle the bag bag has the a ah sound in the middle all right last one ants ants oh looks like they're going towards that picnic basket to get a treat go ahead and circle the ants now boys and girls if we took that s off of the word and the word was just ant that would mean just one but when we add s to the end to make it ants that means more than one all right, so the second part of the directions was to use the word bank to help you write about the picture. Um, so I want you to just come up with a sentence that would explain something that's happening in the picture. I might just write about the ants that are going towards that picnic basket. Here we go. The uppercase letter at the very beginning of our sentence. Ants, so I'm going to use the word ants from our word bank here. Ants. The ants are finger spaces between your words going to the picnic p -i -k -n -i -k. picnic basket b -a -s -k -i -t. and then please remember to put punctuation punk punk punctuation at the end of your sentence. So in this case, I'm going to write a period. Okay, so um, I want to remind you boys and girls that good writers make sure they have uppercase letters at the beginning of their sentence, finger spaces between their words, and then punctuation at the end. Now, you can write the same sentence I did, or if you would like um, you can write about something else that is happening in the picture. Maybe you write about Zach the rat that is um, swinging in the picture. Um, you can write about the jam if you would like. Um, you may have someone at home help you if you'd like to write something different to sound out the words. Um, just try your best, boys and girls. I'll see you next time.